This example will show how to construct a confidence interval for a population mean using the student t distribution. For the student t distribution, the underlying population of individual observations is assumed to be normally distributed with an unknown population mean and an unknown population standard deviation. Suppose you do a study of acupuncture to determine how effective it is in relieving pain. You measure sensory rates for 15 subjects with the results given below. Use the sample data to construct a 95% confidence interval for the mean sensory rate for the population assumed at normal from which you took the data. The confidence interval is equal to the sample mean minus the error bound to the sample mean plus the error bound. So we'll have to find the sample mean and then looking at the formula for the error bound, we need to find the t-score as well as s, the sample standard deviation, and n, the sample size. Let's begin to work on this on the next slide. We will determine the sample mean and sample standard deviation using the T84 and Desmos, but for right now we know n, the sample size is 15. The degrees of freedom are equal to n minus one, which gives us 14. The confidence level is 95%, which is a decimal of 0 0.95. Alpha is equal to one minus the confidence level, which gives us one minus 0 0.95, which is equal to 0 0.05. Alpha divided by two is equal to 0 0.05 divided by two, which is equal to 0 0.025. So we're looking for the t-score, t sub 0 0.025, where 0 0.025 is the area to the right of the t-score. The area to the left is equal to one minus 0 0.025, which is equal to 0 0.975. We need this area in order to find the t-score on the t84 as well as Desmos. So let's make a note of the area to the left. And now I'll show how to find x bar and s on the t84 as well as Desmos. Going to the t84, to save time I'm writing into the data, to enter data, press stat, enter. And again, I already have the data in L1. Once the data is in L1, we press stat, right arrow to calc. We want option one, so we press enter. The data is in L1, which is the correct list. Enter, we leave the frequency list blank. We are not using a frequency table. Enter on calculate. X bar is the mean to four decimal places. We have 8.2267. SX is the sample standard deviation, which is 1.6722 to four decimal places. Let's go ahead and record this. Let's also show how to find these using Desmos. I already have the data in a list. To enter a list, assign a variable, enter the data in square brackets. In cell two, let's open the Desmos keypad, click functions, click stats, click mean, enter capital L for the variable for the list. Enter, we get the same mean, and now let's find the sample standard deviation click functions, click STDEV for sample standard deviation. STDEVP stands for the population standard deviation. We want the sample standard deviation, STDEV. Enter the variable capital L, and we get the same sample standard deviation. And now we need to find the t-score, t sub 0 0.025, knowing the area to the left of the t-score is 0 0.975. Let's first do this on the T84. Press second VARS for the distribution menu, option four for inverse T. Area to the left is 0 0.975, enter. Degrees of freedom, 14, which is correct, enter. Enter on paste, enter again. To two decimal places, the T-score is approximately 2.14. Let's show how to get the t-score using Desmos. Open the Desmos keypad, click functions, click the distributions tab, click inverse CDF, click functions, click t distribution, enter the degrees of freedom, 14, right arrow, comma, area to the left, which is 0 0.975, we do get the same z-score. Now that we have all the information, we can determine the confidence interval. Let's do this on the next slide. Let's begin by determining the air bound. The air bound 
is equal to the t-score of 2.14 times we have the sample standard deviation divided by the square root of the sample size. The sample standard deviation is 1.6722 divided by the square root of the sample size is the square root of 15. And now we'll go back to the calculator. 2.14 times 1.6722 divided by the square root of 15 To four decimal places, we have approximately 0 0.9240. And now that we have the air bound, we can determine the confidence interval. The lower bound is x bar minus the air bound, which is 8.2267 minus 0 0.9240. And the upper bound is x bar plus the air bound. Going to the calculator. We have a lower bound of 7.3027 and an upper bound of 9.1507. Let's go ahead and round these to two decimal places. So we have a confidence interval of 7.30 to 9.15, which means we estimate with a 95% confidence that the true population mean sensory rate is between 7.30 and 9.15. I hope you found this helpful.